everyone. I am Tamsin Levy. Um, some of you know me, some of you don't. Uh, if you don't get to know me because I am the community garden coordinator and the Candida rooftop coordinator um, here on campus. So not research orientated, but also research orientated, uh, which I will explain in a minute. Um, but the community garden was started or implemented by this guy, which I didn't know you were gonna be sitting there, <laughs> um, about 2016. Um, Brent and I both have our PDCs, which is Permaculture Design Certifications, which is how MIDA um, sucked me into GT, and which I'm grateful for. And Brent um, worked with students on campus to get the community garden started, which for those of you who don't know, is over by the ISYE, I always get that wrong, um, Exhibit Hall, New Dunkin' Donuts, because <laughs> who doesn't need Dunkin' Donuts on campus? Um, so it's there, it's open for everybody. And I think that's the main reason why I'm up here today is because the Candida rooftop has been there since 2019, since the Candida building was built. However, the doors lock once in a while. So while it's a lovely space to be, there's tons of blueberries and tons of things growing. Um, it's not that easy to get to all the time. The community garden is in the middle of kind of everything. Um, so please come use it. That's one of my main reasons for being here um, to tell you to do that. And also, it is, I am literally just a coordinator. This is such a student focused, both of these gardens are student focused and that's why I say it's, it's not GT research based but we are absolutely researching stuff there on a consistent basis. Um, the Candida Rooftop students who are all students organizing sustainability um, club have gone on the lovely tangent this year in wanting to grow edible flowers, tea flowers, more flowers for the bees, um, and they have taken their own initiative to talk to building managers and all sorts of people to start uh, what they are calling pocket gardens because they live on campus and they look at their dorms and there's tons of space for there to be all sorts of little itty bitty gardens everywhere. Um, just. Last week, two weeks ago, they literally took the initiative because an alumni reached out to us with a whole bunch of gigantic pots. And they went and got a van and a cart and moved all these pots to the community garden where they want to use those pots to um, just put in lavender, rosemary, pollinators, over by the dorms, over by places where students walk, where faculty walks, where staff walks just to get everybody to breathe for a second. And that's the other reason why the community garden is there. Come and sit for five minutes. Um, and I'm talking about students, <laughs> I, I was with them yesterday, I'm like, what are all your majors? Okay, so here's their majors, biomedical engineering, computer science, literature, media, and communication, industrial engineering, civil engineering, bio neuroscience, industrial design, mechanical engineering, and public po policy minors. Um, these are students that would never see each other, never talk to each other probably. And there's probably a core of about 15 people that come every Saturday to the community garden. And I would say about 15 students that come every Tuesday at 11 to the Candida rooftop. And it is lovely and amazing. And if you're faculty or staff, join us. Put your hands in the dirt. You can come either of those days. Um, we welcome ideas. Like I said, they want to do a tea garden. They are loving edible flowers. We are slowly putting in more stuff for spring in the community garden. Um, it's there for you guys, I guess, is my point and why I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, so come visit us. Hey. <laughs>